If you're going on a cruise, I know you're probably thinking about what to wear and what not to wear in a cruise port of call. Wearing the wrong thing, so to speak, can result in you looking a little bit out of place and even worse, having a fine or being the target of petty theft. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifeballcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now this video is a little bit of a follow-up to the video, what not to wear on a cruise. Now I have to say that did get a little bit controversial in the comments. I will leave that video at the end of this one in case you haven't had a chance to check that out yet. However, this video is going to be very, very useful because we're going to talk about what not to wear in certain cruise ports of call. And honestly, some of this information is going to save you because if you wear some of these things in some of these cruise ports of call, it can result in you being a target for theft. Nobody wants that in you receiving a fine and at the very least you not being very comfortable. Now before I get started I did want to mention two things. First of all you do you. This is just some information and please let me know in the comments below this video what you think or even any additional information you have to share. And secondly if you like this video if you find it helpful informative or enjoyable in any way then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So I have about eight things not to wear and then I do have two things that you should definitely bring or wear in your cruise ports of call. Number one, don't wear workout wear or gym wear in the Mediterranean or European cruise ports of call. While you can dress casually, you don't have to dress fancy, you do wanna still fit in with the locals. And something to note is that in those Mediterranean cities, workout wear is for the gym and it is not to be worn on the streets. So if you wanna kind of blend in with the locals a little bit and just even follow local customs, then you will wanna wear something casual, but not something that is meant for the gym. Number two, don't wear any flashy jewelry, any expensive looking jewelry or watches in any cruise port of call. And this is basically for two reasons. First of all, if you are wearing any expensive looking jewelry, you could be the target of theft and nobody wants to be robbed in any cruise port of call. This is probably about the worst thing that can happen. But the second thing that can happen is, well, something a lot more innocent. You might have your wedding band and you wear it on a snorkeling excursion and it can actually fall off and you don't want that to happen either. So something to do is instead of wearing your jewelry off the cruise ship in a cruise port of call is leave that in your safe in your cabin. Number three, don't wear t-shirts or even baseball caps with political messages. Now this one I would say applies to cruise ship ports of call, but also to the cruise ship itself. Honestly, if you wear a t-shirt with a political message all that can happen is probably an argument with somebody because not everybody's going to agree with you. And honestly, it could even result in a fight somewhere. And this is definitely not something that you want to happen on vacation. Number four, don't wear swimwear in the streets of your cruise ports of call. Now, while you can definitely wear swimwear when you're on the beach, when you're at the swimming pool, when you are walking along the streets, you should be wearing something that you have covered up. Now, in particular, there are actually some cities that if you wear a bathing suit, in the street or if you're a man and you're wearing swim trunks and you're not wearing a shirt, you'll actually be fine. So some of these cities are Barcelona in Spain, Mallorca, and also Sorrento in Italy. And by the way, the reason that they have these fines is because it became a problem in these towns. The locals really didn't like it. And there are sort of these rules of decorum. So it is important to really look at the local customs and it's always a good idea, I think, to have something to wear after you do go to the beach for the day, even if you are in a cruise port of call. Number five, don't wear flip-flops when sightseeing. Now this has nothing to do with fashion, although in some cases perhaps it is going against a little bit of the local customs or the way people dress. And you might stand out as a little bit of a tourist, which can actually make you a target of a tourist scam. But anyway, that's something for another day. But honestly, for practical reasons, flip-flops just aren't very comfortable. You have that thong between the toes. And I have to say, I have worn some of these shoes sometimes, and really we are all better off in comfortable walking shoes when we're sightseeing. Number six, camouflage clothing. Now, did you know that in many Caribbean islands that it's actually illegal for civilians to wear any sort of camouflage clothing? So that is a reason not to bring or wear any camouflage clothing if you are going on a Caribbean cruise. Now, of course you can still wear it on the cruise ship, but be very careful with which islands that you might wear your camouflage shorts or a camouflage tank top. So just to be safe, it's better not to even bring that on the cruise. Oh, and by the way, if you do wear camouflage clothing into the islands, it can actually result in you being fined, being arrested, or probably at the very least, you being sent back to the cruise ship to change. 
Number seven, luxury handbags. Now, just for the reason that you don't wanna be a target of theft, it is really better to leave anything that is sort of super expensive, like a luxury handbag, on the cruise ship, or even maybe to leave it at home. And I would say it's even the same thing when it comes to expensive cameras or even an expensive iPhone. Obviously, you're still gonna have your iPhone with you or any expensive phone, but you don't wanna have it like at the top of a selfie stick. Just be really, really very careful because especially in some cruise ports of call, you will find that there is theft and you really do want to watch this. Now, I am curious if you've ever been a target of theft or pickpocketing in any cruise port of call. Please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video in the future about how to avoid this. Now I do have two things that you should definitely bring with you to wear in a cruise port of call. Now, number one to bring with you is something to cover your shoulders. So a scarf is just perfect or a shawl because you can wear this in the airplane. You could wear this on the cruise ship in the evening time if your shoulders get a little bit cool in the dining room from the air conditioning. And of course, you can wear this when you are sightseeing to go into any of the churches or synagogues or mosques, basically any sort of religious building. And the other item to bring with you or wear if you need it is anything basically to cover you from the elements and in particular rain. It can happen, we could go on a cruise and the weather may not always be perfect. So we do wanna make sure that we have something, some sort of rain jacket or umbrella to make sure that we can still have a really good time in our cruise port of call, still go and visit even if the weather is not wonderful. Now, please let me know if you agree or disagree with the different things that I mentioned in this video and as well if there's anything else that people should not wear in a cruise port of call. Now I'm gonna leave a video right after this one all about what not to wear on a cruise. You may agree or disagree, but I definitely think that you'll find some of that information useful. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you here within the Lifewell Cruise community. Bye for now and happy cruising.